hello everyone i am atik again today i am going to show you how to connect with your uh, ec2 instance using filezilla and uh, then upload your files your P php scripts javascript scripts into the uh, into your ec2 instance so let's get started first i go to ec2 uh, dashboard where i will create a new instance uh, it's good news that we have uh, uh, is it region in Mumbai which is nearby to my uh, hometown so let's create a new uh, instance on Mumbai I select uh, I I'm going to choose uh, T2 micro because it's inside the free tier then I keep it as it is by default then I'm going to keep the size 8 gigs and uh, I am going to go next and this is the security group that I am going to have SSH and uh, HTTP everywhere okay then I am going to review and launch I already have that in uh, PM file previously created so let's go and launch one okay so uh, it's just vm file I give the instance a name I usually always do that it's uh, easy to find out later on so my instance is up and running I'm going to install Apache into that instance so let's connect to that instance via shell terminal I'm going to go to downloads SSH file name and then uh, easy to user at the rate of the server IP address let's try to connect yep I'm done so it seems I have uh, three packages needs to be updated so let's do that okay it's updating the uh, yum packages it's uh, I always do that before installing anything on the server because uh, it, it has all those latest updates into this and uh, it gives you better security for yourself it uh, it usually doesn't take more than one or two minutes so total size is only 30 megs and you can see what is updating here like uh, Python 2.7 libraries then you have uh, kernel Okay, my update is done, so that's great. Now I'm going to install uh, Apache. Sudo yum install h t t p d two four php seven point three. That's it yeah it will show uh, to install HTTP 2.2 PHP XML and all those things yeah I want to do that that's great it's been installed so let's start the server so to service HTTP -T start okay let's uh, we have started this let's see if we can connect to that instance using the public IP great my web server is up and running now I'm going to connect to the server using filezilla to uh, update some HTML PHP files so let's do that 
I go to FileZilla. I am showing in uh, Ubuntu, but it's same for uh, Windows as well. I'm going to create a new site that is the host name. I just paste the public URL. The protocol is uh, SFTP. Login type is key file. User is easy to user. And the key file, I will just point it to my files downloads directory it's uh, PEM files you can use PEM PPK both both works fine okay and then in the advanced remote directory I just say var dub 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 HTML cool let's try to connect now yeah I want have a trust on this host so let's go amazing I have now uh, connected to my server using filezilla I have just used pm files so that's great now I'm going to upload some uh, PHP files to see if that works I'm going to open this okay then I'm going to uh, open my editor which is sublime text it's very fast okay and then I'm going to create a new file just I'm going to write some PHP scripts Path is for uh, double double test. The file name is HP. Okay. Now I have saved it. Let's refresh. I'm going to upload that file. Okay, we don't have uh, permissions because uh, I haven't set the file permissions here. So let's go one step up. The owner of this directory is it seems root and group is root. So I just need to change the owner to EC2 user. You can then upload files. Let's do that. Ch1 sudo ch1 that means changing owner minus r that's recursive. So I just do is to user to file tap 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 html. Cool. So uh, now I'm going to go to html directory and then upload the file. Yes, this time mm -mm -mm. let me try again. I have permissions. Okay, the file has been updated, so let's check in the browser php info dot php great so uh, my php info is given here this is my internal ip built at server where's the config files are there, php version 7.3.5 and um, 
all sorts of information here as a PHP my PHP info okay that's uh, that's very clear so uh, in this process we can just <coughs> Uh, upload our files, applications files, via FileZilla, FTP or SFTP protocol and move our projects into the web server. That's very uh, easy to edit using your favorite text editor and then upload the files using FileZilla. So uh, there is a very basic tutorial on how you can use uh, your EC2 instance PEM file to connect to that server using your favorite file transfer uh, software FileZilla. Most of us uh, already have acquainted with FileZilla, but uh, a lot of people ask me how how they want to connect to the EC2 using PEM file. So uh, this is a good tutorial. On that. Okay, I hope this uh, helps you to uh, get your project up and running using FileZilla. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, I wish you a happy working day. Thank you and bye.